Well, the grandmother of Juneteenth did not let the heat stop her from her annual walk for freedom. However, some of those who took part were sickened by the heat. Still, Miss Opal Lee walked across the finish line, braving the heat after leading hundreds and hundreds of walkers in Fort Worth. During the two and a half mile route, she did make a few stops for water, as you can imagine lots of people did. And a couple of times she was in a golf cart. The 96 year old said today is a day to celebrate freedom. Fox 4's Dion Anglin was there and joins us now. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, a very hot, as you mentioned, but inspiring day for those who made it out to support the annual walk and the grandmother of Juneteenth herself. The highly anticipated site, Dr. Opal Lee, crossing the 2.5 mile finish line on Juneteenth in the event bearing her name. Yes! The inspiring moment captured by a gaggle of professional and cell phone cameras. I didn't realize she was 96. I thought she was maybe in her 70s or something like that. So when I saw that on TV last year, I was like, that's so inspiring. And I, for the fact that it's around the corner more or less in Fort Worth from Dallas, it was just, I had to be here, I had to be experienced it and just to do the walk with her. Give me a high five. Thank you. Lee's granddaughter, Dion Sims, is exuberant and grateful. Thank you, Fort Worth. Thank you, DFW. I want to thank the nation for embracing my grandmother and what Juneteenth means. She's been along for the decades-long journey, watching her grandmother as an advocate until the moment in 2021 President Biden signed a national Juneteenth holiday into law. Sims explains how heat precautions for her grandmother during the walk were a priority. We had to put her in the vehicle to help her get along, but she walked a good chunk of it because it was hot and we were very concerned about her health, but she, she did it. She did it. walk activities included supporters, dignitaries, the young and young at heart, braving the hot temperatures along with Ms. Opie. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. I am destined for greatness. An appearance by Dallas Mavericks CEO, Sent Marshall. Our motto around all this is listen, learn, unite. Thank you for bringing us together. The Dallas Mavericks support you. People will learn more and more about the significance of Juneteenth, uh, about the post-reconstruction era that happened in this country, uh, and about everything that really led us up to when President Biden signed the bill into law. It's so humbling because if she can do it at 96 years old, surely I can. Surely I can lean past any minor inconvenience that I have to to really embrace the privileges that she and among others have afforded for us to have. Now, the precautions mentioned for Ms. Opal were significant for all who were here. There was an ambulance that was posted up as a precaution uh, out here during the festivities and the walk. And MedStar uh, tells us this afternoon that it treated five people for heat-related illnesses during the walk and transported two of those folks to hospitals. Another 20 others were uh, had to go to cooling stations to deal with heat-related symptoms. It's the very latest live. Back to you all.